how to bond with your child as a working mom. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Faye Karaoke and thanks for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe down below and also like this video. So guys, it's Sunday again and Sundays as always are my favorite, favorite days because it's all about resting and it's all about mommies. Yeah. So on this video, we're going to be talking about uh, ways that you can bond with your child and I'm going to be focusing on like bonding with your infant and a toddler child kids. So um, this is because I have a, no actually I have a toddler, <laughs> I keep thinking it's, she's, he's an infant but now we are one year old so we are now in the toddler world and I can feel it. So guys, it's it's been a week already like i feel like that week went by really 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 fast and i feel like i didn't even see some days and it's because i was very busy my work day my work was very busy this week i had days that i stayed really really late at work and it kind of affected my baby negatively because um you know i didn't get to see him as much as i was supposed to and so when i came when you know when i had my day off he was really like clinging on to me and i could see that he was ready to have some time with mommy so i was also at a point that i was already missing my baby because you know when you're so busy and you don't get to spend a lot of time with your kid you know you get like hey i really want to spend some time with my baby so on this video i'm gonna be sharing three ways that you can bond with your child without you know going off the routine or without even like stressing yourself or without like you know feel, feeling guilty because sometimes we tend to let ourselves feel guilty and feel like we are failures so the um number one tip number one is uh you can make feeding time quality time so these are the usual things that you do with your baby but you can make them extra by just adding a little spice so like with my baby uh, what I did is uh, during feeding time I spent some extra time like I invested like an extra 20 minute just to make the feeding the feeding process more fun that way I didn't feel like it's just a routine that I'm just doing it because I have to do it but I, I tried to create some you know fun time with the baby I would like whenever I was feeding him I will just play with the spoon and you know tell him oh here's an airplane coming and then you know just have him open the, his mouth and just feed him and you could see like I could see he was really like loving the time he was enjoying the time and he was really like oh this is mom and mom is here for me she's you know she's not in a rush she's not like going anywhere she's here she's invested in me and she's satisfying my needs and i'm having fun so i really actually liked it that way i wish i would have time every day to like just you know spend more time while feeding the baby because it not not only helps with the bonding but also you see like if your child has like eating problems they'll relax more and they'll feel like when they're eating it's not like they're doing a punishment or it's not like they're they're being forced to eat it becomes a fun process and they eat even more and they enjoy eating so yeah those that's a uh, tip number one that you can try and then um tip number two you can make a uh, bath time special a special time so and uh what do i mean by this you know um sometimes we just you know shower kids like sometimes i see myself oh i need to give him a shower so he can go to bed and rest you know so he can sleep longer so he can you know relax and have a good uh, bedtime but this time i wanted to make the bath time a special time for us so i usually have like different colored um you know the rubber duckies i usually have different color colored rubber dabbies for the baby and so what i did i actually tried to 
use that time to you know teach him about colors teach him about different things uh, we try to like when i was giving him a bath you know i would tell him hey this is how the duck sounds or this is this is the color yellow and i'll just make i i just try to make the the, the bathing process fun and he really enjoyed you could see the way it was you know splashing the water all the smiles it was so satisfying for both me and the baby so yeah that's another tip number two that you can try and as you can see it's not like something you're doing out of your routine with the baby it's just trying to spice it up trying to just make it more fun for you and the baby and I'm telling you if you try these things they not only make the baby happy but you feel good as a mom you feel like wow you know i did something i i made my baby happy and you know i think as a mom if you make your kids happy if you satisfy your kids that's everything that's everything and then um number number three my tip number three and the last one for this video is a uh, story time I don't know about you guys i don't know if you read to your kids but it's always good to read to you know especially when when they are growing it's always good to read for kids and this is something that i'm actually trying to invest more time in i'm trying to grow into it because uh, sometimes i feel like i'm not there yet so yeah um you can just get a book that's just few pages uh, just few words and read it to the baby and I've seen like a lot of improvement even with like my older kid. It's really helped with uh, vocabularies and you know how their imagination and all that. But anyway, back to the story. So make story time fun time. So what I've actually this morning I kind of did that. Um, just try to even create a story around the baby. You can you don't even if you don't have those books, you can make your own story just around the baby. Make the baby feel good. Like you can say once upon a time there was little a little baby. The baby had just turned one. The baby loved the mommy. Just something, just something to make them imagine of this amazing kid and i know some of our kids are really like little like the infants sometimes like if it's an infant you can sing to them and you can see that um you know infants they really love the music they they really love uh listening to our voices so yeah so try these three tips so if you have an infant also you can do like a skin to skin bonding and this is like really amazing kids they love the warmth of our skin and they also like to listen to the heartbeat so don't forget that if you have an infant my baby right now i can't do skin to skin with him he's he loves the world so he just want to go and <laughs> see what's going on where he can you know grab and try to find out how it works or what it is so yeah by infants you can do skin to skin with them um you can do uh like you can carry your baby with a baby carrier maybe facing you or maybe when you're working you can just carry them and you know they can see what you're doing yeah so uh those are my tips for today um if you enjoyed this video just give me a th thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh, like share anything so guys, see you next time and enjoy your day. If you're watching during the day, enjoy your day. If you're watch watching at night, enjoy your night. Bye guys, see you next time.